Hi, Jay Smith with Model Aviation Magazine and Park Pilot Magazine. I'm at the Toledo Expo. I'm currently in the Rabid Models booth with Mark Sturmer, and he's going to tell us a little bit about his models that are hanging out behind us. Hi, Mark. Hi. Hi, Jay. Well, as you know, we've done some reviews of your models in the past, but for those that have not had experience with your models, tell us a little bit about them. Okay. Well, Rabid Models planes are made out of foam, and they have airfoil, so they're not flat foam planes like you typically find. And the other thing we do is they're mainly twin-engine planes. So I got twin engine warbirds made out of blue core foam, which are easy to put together. They fly great and they're relatively inexpensive. And behind us, you said we have a new release. Tell us about that one. Right. It's our Bearcat. And I just said we have twin engine warbirds, but every once in a while I experiment with a couple twin engine, uh, single engine ones. Right. And um, the Bearcat is part of the Grumman line of airplanes that I, I like. And it's right here. And you can see it's made out of black Depron foam. The wing has a carbon fiber spar on the bottom of it. There's a cowling. <laughs> and you can see a couple of, um, of slots here. The slots are filled with glue, and when they're, they're folded, they're, they're compressed a little bit, you end up with a curved airfoil. Okay. So this plane flies very much like a regular model since it has an airfoil. And the, you can see it's a profile airplane, very simple design. It only has several parts, and it can literally be built in an hour using foam tack. <laughs> and this is your first model that made from Depron, is that right? That's right, that's right. The others are made from blue core, correct? Blue, yes, blue core foam has a plastic film on it. The Depron doesn't, so the Depron requires that uh, carbon fiber reinforcement, which is optional on our other planes. Are you going to have further releases in Depron? Well, we're thinking about it. It depends on how, how well this one does, how people are interested in it. Now, if people are interested in even bigger models, you have some that are much larger, correct? Yes, I do. These, these sizes that you see behind me are typically flown indoors. Now, the other size that we have it uses a, a 9 by 7 three-bladed propeller, and they can be flown outside. They're 35, 45 inches in that, uh, that size range. And you also mentioned foam tack. Tell us a little bit about that for those that aren't familiar with that type of glue. Okay. Well, I'm a distributor for foam tack glue. I also sell uh, cyanoacrylic glue. The foam tack glue is flexible. It's almost like rubber cement, if, if you're thinking of the type of glue it is. It's solvent-based, so when you put, apply it, the solvent evaporates. It ends up being lighter. Instead, so you're, instead of adding weight, you're, well, it adds a little bit of weight, but it doesn't add as much weight as cyanoacrylate does. Um, but the main thing about foam tack is it's flexible, it dries quickly, and you can even make hinges out of it. So it's versatile and just has a number of uses, and it's foam safe. <laughs> so for people that want to find out more about your releases or purchase foam tack or any of your airplanes, give us to your website. Okay, Rabid Models is at rabidmodels.com. That's our, our uh, airplane website. And I'm also on eBay. I have uh, hundreds of glue products for sale on eBay on the eBay store. And you just look on eBay under stores for Rabid Models. Well, thanks for taking the time to talk to us today. Thanks a lot, Jay.